Today is the 4th of July, 2017, and we're going to, my brother-in-law and I, are going to run this wood processor that he created. It's made with a hay elevator, and uh, he had also designed the grapple bucket that is on my HRI Services webpage that uh, my other brother-in-law, Doug McDonald, and myself had built. Uh, Kevin had made one for himself prior to that. This is uh, KB Fab, which is Kevin Burns Fab. And we're going to run this processor today and show you how well it works. So Kevin, where did you come up with your ideas for this uh, wood processor that you built? Uh, watching videos of professionally built wood processors and YouTube videos of homemade wood processors and I just picked the most affordable pieces of those machines and came up with a design. This is what I came up with. Can you show us approximately how it works and just give us an idea? of what you've got designed here and the uh, how the levers work and uh, how it uh, all operates by hydraulics. I know you got the engine on the back side back over there that operates uh, the hydraulic pump and uh, then you've got several cylinders here and you can maybe give us an idea of uh, what levers do what and how they operate. Well first I start with a log deck for putting the full size logs in. I just manually roll those into a log conveyor. This lever here forwards that conveyor to wherever I have my stop set for whatever length wood I want to cut. Once the log is forwarded till it touches the log's measuring stick, then I clamp down with this to hold the log. Then, unlike some of the professional processors, this I just have a chainsaw where I'll cut the log in a traditional way. And then the piece drops down below into the splitter section. Then I have an auto cycling valve to forward the splitting ram and then it automatically returns. And then I have a six way wedge. so. When it's all the way up, it only splits the piece one direction. Then I can lower it for about an eight inch log to cut it four ways. And for bigger logs, you can cut it six ways. From there, the pieces go through here and this is kind of just a mini chip separator for the little chunks to fall out. The big pieces land in the conveyor and forward off into the boxes or trailer or whatever I'm filling. 
Excellent description, and thank you for giving us that description, and, and now we'll move into some processing. This machine is a Harbor Freight Predator 420 cc which is so far has been okay it's a cheap motor but it's uh, basically a Honda platform so if it doesn't work out should be easy to replace with a Honda or a Subaru the pump on here is a two-stage 22 gallon a minute pump which is good enough to run one function at a time you can't split a piece of wood and then run the clamp or anything else it'll only run one function at a time so that's why it's a little slower the tank is a 25 gallon hydraulic tank which is so far I haven't had any overheating issues there's no oil cooler on it the motor for the log conveyor is a 14 horse hydraulic motor run through a snowblower worm drive which is a 10 to 1 reduction 
out of an old wheel horse snowblower. And the conveyor was built out of a section out of the little giant outfeed conveyor. Um, modified to a V shape. All the parts were bought at uh, Surplus Center, the hydraulic store, and I had good pricing and fast service with them. Is that an online? Yep, it's was ended up being cheaper than Northern Hydraulics and cheaper than my local hydraulic store. So so far I'm pretty happy with it. There's a few modifications I'll probably make. Um, other than that, it seems to work pretty well. A lot less work than the old fashioned way. Thanks a lot for giving us the specifications on the unit that you uh, basically designed and created yourself. Uh, I also have, as I stated earlier, we have the grapple bucket that Kevin has designed himself also, which is on the front of his tractor that he was using, uh, that works really well uh, with the three-quarter inch rod that runs around, it is three-quarter, right? Yep. That runs around uh, the outside, so when he grabs like juniper bushes and stuff, uh, the stones and the ground all fall through, but he is able to grasp the juniper bush and pull them out of the ground. As you can see in this area, uh, he has a lot of juniper bushes that uh, grow naturally. And uh, sometimes to clean up an area for a food plot or something, uh, they use that uh, grapple bucket. And it works really good for moving the uh, logs around, as you can see also.